So I am back in my little filming spot here and I thought today, because I've seen so many people do videos like this, I want to talk about what I feel like makes people fashionable or cool or whatever you want to call it, what I think makes people stylish and what makes them stand out. These are of course just my opinions, but I was just in New York City for a day and this really made me start thinking because I feel like I was really watching people and paying more attention to what people were wearing and there's just a lot of things that were you know popping up in my mind I was like oh like that person's wearing this oh my god like she is so cool and then I started looking and I was like what is it that I feel like makes these people cool and I want to go through the list of 10 things that I have that are again just my opinions um, and things that I feel like make people really stylish. So the first thing that I want to bring up is something that I saw when I was in Central Park. I was just sitting on a bench. I was watching one of the live performers and he was really good. He was singing a lot of U2 songs. And then this lady walks past and the guy who was singing stops and he looks at the lady and he's like, I like your coat, miss. And then she looked at him and she was like, thanks. And then I look and I was like, that is a cool coat. And she was wearing this like floor length, almost kind of quilted looking, patterned, very out there, very bright colored coat. And I was like, wow, I have never seen anything like that. So for me, the first thing on my list is definitely statement pieces. Like anything that you see from far away that makes you sort of turn around and look again to see like, what was that person actually wearing? Like, what was that? <laughs> Because that is something that you've never seen before. And I just, I admire people who can wear pieces like that because that is, I don't know if I would say it's my style. I like statement pieces, but not, not when it's the kind of piece that I would wear over and over and over again. For me, like a statement piece is something that I, I wear like a couple of times a year maybe. And it's not something that I would invest a lot of money in because I don't feel like I would want to wear something like that that often. So for someone to have a coat in such a bold print and pattern, I really respect that. And I think that makes them really, really cool because that is uh, something that becomes their signature. The next one might be a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I feel like for me, if you're someone who really knows how to dress your own body, doesn't matter like what that body shape is, but if you know really well how to accentuate all the things that you love about your body, you know what you like to show off, if your whole wardrobe kind of revolves around the way that you like to present yourself, then it to me it means that you've put in a lot of effort and thought and you really made conscious decisions with the silhouettes that you buy. And I think that having a consistent way of dressing yourself and presenting yourself is sort of a way to be stylish. I don't know, like that could just be me, but I feel like for, if someone takes that much time and really tries on a lot of silhouettes and end up liking a couple of things and they stick to that, that to me is being very fashionable. The next thing is something that is probably on everybody's list, or even if it's not on someone's list, it's probably something they're thinking anyway. And I think for me, that's just confidence. Like if you are confident enough <laughs> to wear something that other people wouldn't wear, I think that immediately makes you really stylish because I know for myself, when I first started getting into fashion and started playing with different styles, the thought of wearing something that I saw on a rack but had never seen another person wear, especially growing up in a small town in Norway, the fashion there was very, should I say boring? Is that the right word? But nobody was really playing around with you know, what they were wearing that much. Nobody really cared that much. So when I started wearing things that I didn't see other people wear, it made me a little self-conscious in the beginning, I'm not going to lie. But the more you do it, the more you step outside of the box and the more confident you become in your own style, that really allows you to wear the things that you want to wear. And I think that most people who are very fashionable are very confident. And I think that also makes them stylish. Something very obvious, I think, in the fashion world to me make someone really stylish is just creative layering. And layering can be so many things. It can be something as simple as putting on a tank top over the top of a button-down shirt that just doesn't really go at all. <laughs> or wearing a vest on top of a dress that also doesn't really make sense, but you just want to add something extra to an outfit to make it more visually interesting. And just layering in general I feel like takes a certain kind of person and creativity because it's not something that's always intuitive. 
And I really like seeing other people's outfits when they've layered things that I never in a million years would have thought of. I saw a video on YouTube. I wish I knew the name of this lady, but she was such a cool, just very eccentric. She had a lot of different ideas. And one of the things that she did in her video was she layered two button down shirts on top of each other, like open sort of as a jacket, but like two of them. And it just made it look so cool because one was one color, one was printed. And then having both of those just like together with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans, it was so outside of the box, but at the same time, such a simple thing to do that I wouldn't have thought of. So layering in ways that other people don't layer, even something like layering two skirts on top of each other, I've seen some people do, and I'm just like, like mind blown. I never would have thought to do that. And it looks so cool. And I think that those people are just really, really fashionable. This next one is something that I feel like I do a lot of the time, but I don't feel like it necessarily makes me stylish, but it makes me feel good. And I think that people who wear a lot of jewelry and who are always wearing their jewelry, I think that that makes them look very put together. And someone who's put together to me is sort of fashionable and stylish, depending on you know how you look at it. But just being put together in general, I feel like if you always wear accessories, no matter what else you're wearing, you can be wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants, but if you have a lot of layered necklaces, if you have some statement earrings, it all of a sudden just dresses up the most plainest outfit and just makes it look so much cooler. So for me, always wearing accessories, always wearing jewelry, doesn't have to be statement, but just always wearing something is something that I consider and other people to be quite stylish. Something else that I really respect when I see people do a lot, this is wearing out of season styles that are very clearly like outdated, but still making them current by mixing them with other trends and just also just not caring about what other people are wearing. Like I really don't give a shit if I'm wearing things that used to be cool and maybe aren't considered cool anymore. I know that the Sambas are basically on their way out. I just bought a pair because I have been chewing on this for so long being like do I like these am I just being influenced and every time I see someone wear a pair of sambas I don't care how oversaturated this trend has become like I genuinely like it and so I bought a pair and I will be the one wearing those when no one else is wearing them because it's not cool anymore (laughs) but yeah like back to what I was saying I think that people who are comfortable wearing trends that are not cool anymore but still make them look like something innovative and something new and different, I think that makes someone really, really fashionable and something that I look up to. And I really try my best to not worry about what the current trends are and still wear the things that I know and love. And if I feel like maybe something is a little bit outdated, there are ways to make things look current still. And I feel like that can be said for basically anything, like any item in your closet If you pair it with the right things, it's still going to look really cool and still very current. One thing that I don't feel like I'm very good at, but I see a lot of other people do, is mixing feminine and masculine pieces and just making it make sense. In my head, I struggle to do this because I don't feel like I'm very drawn to masculine pieces. I see so many people wearing these amazing oversized blazers with like you know, big shoulder pads. And maybe those aren't considered masculine, but for me, like a big blazer isn't something that I would consider to be very feminine. But just in general, I've also seen, you know, like the jersey trend is something that I consider to be more of like a a men's fashion wear kind of thing. And I couldn't in a million years see myself pulling that off, but so many people do it so well. And I also love seeing girls or females wear... Uh, neckties like I think it just looks so cool to wear a tie with like a dress or something I feel like I say like so much in these videos and I don't usually do that I really need to stop saying like anyway I just feel like mixing masculine elements into very feminine outfits is something that every time I see it done it always looks great And I don't know if I can necessarily pull it off myself, but maybe it's something that I want to start playing around with because I always think it looks amazing on other people. Something else that can be a little bit hard to do, especially if you're in the fashion space, you follow a lot of trends, you watch a lot of people talk about trends, and then, you know, you you want to participate in these trends. And I think sometimes people end up 
putting together too many current trends in the same outfit and then it just looks very much like you're trying too hard. But I think finding that balance between using things that you already own and pairing that with the current trends without it looking super trendy, does that make sense? Sometimes I feel like things can look a little bit too trendy and that's when it becomes, you know, something that you look back at in maybe 10 years and you're like, what was I thinking? But if you can take one current trend, mix it in with what you already own, still have it look current, but also look like yourself in your own style. That is something that I, I would say I strive to do. I try not to mix too many trends in together, but sometimes I, you know, I get a little bit too enthusiastic and a little bit too excited about something because I've seen, you know, the same outfit over and over again on my Pinterest and I keep pinning it. And then I'm like, oh my God, I want to wear this. And then I realize all of a sudden that actually all of these things are kind of trending. <laughs> and maybe I am like the picture of someone who's trying a little too hard sometimes, but I try my best not to. And I really look up to the people who are able to find that balance. The second to last thing that I want to talk about is something that I don't feel like I do very well. And it's something that I want to try to do more of, but this is wearing pieces simply for their aesthetic reason and for no other reason than that. <laughs> So like putting on that extra piece, even though it doesn't make any sense with the outfit, even though weather wise, maybe it's ridiculous. Like maybe you're wearing a puffer coat in the summer. Maybe you're wearing some kind of flip flops in the winter <laughs> or, you know, just wearing a piece that really does not make sense at all. Or maybe putting on a hat when the weather definitely does not, you know, call for wearing a hat, putting on this giant choker that is probably going to be really uncomfortable the rest of the day just because it looks cool. Wearing a piece that is simply on your body for no other purpose than just aesthetic, I think is something that just makes someone look really cool. And I, I usually try to have that one piece that I put on that maybe doesn't make sense, but for me it's more like an accessories rather than a piece of clothing because I don't have that many clothing pieces that I feel like fit into this category. I do have one that I would like to try to style at some point. I have this beaded vest that I got from Urban Outfitters that is just so really like it's just I was gonna say so fucking cool but then I was like should I swear on this channel? I'm not sure but anyway I do swear a lot in real life so maybe I shouldn't be too worried about it but it is just the coolest piece ever and I never know how or what to wear it with but I really want to try to style that because I just I love it so much and it's definitely a piece that would simply be because I just want to wear it and for no other the reason. The last thing that I think makes someone really fashionable is not something that I ever do because I don't think I would be good at it, but this is when someone has clearly DIY'd something and you can tell that they have made it. It's personal, whether it's like decking out their purse with like bows and ribbons and pins and wh whatever else you can think of. Maybe it's adding some kind of lace to the bottom of a t-shirt. It can be you know, adding safety pins to the arms of a shirt. Like, I don't know, like just something that is very clearly done by the person who is wearing the pieces that you just wouldn't see in stores. Like that to me is really fashionable. <laughs> like I want to be that person, but I'm not very good at, I don't know, like doing things to my clothing because I'm worried I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> my cat is like climbing on my uh, ring light right now. Could you not? He is the cutest thing ever, though, so I'll, I'm just going to let him, as long as he does not break anything, <laughs> I think we're good. But those were the things on my list that I think make someone really cool and fashionable. I would love to know what you think makes someone fashionable down below. I have seen so many videos from other people doing this, and I've loved every single one of them, and I think everybody just has so many cool ideas, and I think that watching these videos can be a good way to up your own fashion game because you get an idea of what other people think is fashionable that maybe you could incorporate into your own style. So those were my things. Let me know if there are any other videos that you want to see from me. I am way open to suggestions and yeah, anything that you have on your mind that maybe you haven't seen other people do that you would love to see a video on, let me know and maybe I can do that. So thank you so much for watching. I will put another video up on the screen that I think you might enjoy. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next video.